Sylvia Plath said about bipolar disorder, it is as if my life were magically run by two electric currents, joyous, positive and despairing negative. Whichever is running at the moment dominates my life. It floods it. And when it comes to the very misunderstood OCD, author David Adams says, it is no more possible to be a little bit OCD than it is to be a little bit pregnant or a little bit dead. And as a sufferer of bipolar and obsessive compulsive disorder, I say, yeah, what they said. My incessant compulsions to perform rituals may or may not be seen by my friends, family or strangers that briefly share a supermarket aisle with me. But while I act on these thoughts during every waking moment with unusual behaviours, tapping, touching, counting, spinning in circles, head movements or low and high pitched moans and groans, I feel that I am able to hide some of the more obvious and weird compulsions for the sake of being looked upon as a weirdo. Although some things are, of course, inevitable. When, or if, I am able to suppress a compulsive action as described, another one will pop up in its place within seconds, and the more I deny these compulsions, the harder they come back, and the more vivid the repercussion of not acting on the compulsion is. What the hell is OCD? Obsessive compulsive disorder consists of two components. The obsessive thinking, which is thinking too much about things, and the compulsive actions, which is something you do to stop the obsessive thinking. Now, the more I deny the compulsive actions, the more I can see a catastrophe. Now, take this shoe on, shoe off routine here. This is something I do most mornings, a routine that is simply putting my shoes and socks on and off until it feels right. And then I can go about my day until the next compulsion appears. If I don't complete a task or act on a compulsion, I feel like something bad will happen to a family member or me, etc. And as much as I know it's rubbish, it's not going to happen, that there is no force here on earth or beyond that is strong enough or silly enough to allow bad things to happen to us for doing manual things like flick light switches on and off. The obsessive compulsive mind still feels compelled to act on said compulsion. I even wrote a song about it all. OCD Please let me be Loosen your grip And set me free I'm wasting Wasting my days Where well, you are the boss And I must obey You're maniacal, methodical, analytical, unjustifiable And I'm pliable, undesirable, and undeniably unreliable Because of you Well, because of you I'm a nutty, and in your hands I'm squashed like putty I'm bent, and I'm broken I won't talk until you've spoken. Well, my so why am I telling you all this? Well, ending. as well as having an OCD, I have also been diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder. So yeah, I, uh, I hit the jackpot there. Imagine how much fun I can be. But with the experience I've gained from these often debilitating disorders, myself and my very anxious friend Adam have put together a show called Mental as Everything. With our critically acclaimed show, we aim to remove or break the stigma attached to mental illness. We think we have a unique concept here, and with our original music and often awkward monologues, we like to think that we tackle this difficult and very personal subject with authenticity and above all, complete respect. We bear everything, and I mean I even start the show half naked. We want to smash the stigma attached to mental health.
I'll do my best I hope you will too I guess that'll happen